How to find the mean. There are two formulas to find the mean for a set of data. The formula on the left is used to find the mean of a population, whereas the formula on the right is used to find the mean of a sample. To represent these, we can use the Greek letter mu when talking about the mean of a population, or we can use the letter x with a line over it, called x bar, to talk about the mean of a sample. Despite having two formulas, the process for finding the mean is the same in either case. Let's take a look. This large E-looking symbol, or capital sigma, tells us we need to add all of our data together. This N on the bottom says we need to divide the total by the number of data points we have. Let's give it a try. For this, we'll find the mean for the recorded high temperatures of a particular region. The table here lists the recorded high temperatures for each month in degrees Celsius. We'll start by adding together all of our values. This gives us 204. It looks like we have 12 data points, one for each month, so we'll take our total and divide it by 12. This gives us a mean of 17 degrees. Since this mean is from a population, we'll use the letter mu here. Let's try that one more time. For this next example, we'll look at a sample of shoe sizes from a given school. Adding together their values, we'll get 141. We can now divide this by 7. This gives us a mean of about 20.14 centimeters if we round to two decimal places. Since this mean comes from a sample, we'll write this along with the symbol X bar. Did you enjoy watching this video? Don't forget to hit the like button and then subscribe to my channel. As always, you can find all of my videos free of charge at mysecretmathtutor.com. Again, thanks for watching.